This is Entertainment Weekly's coverage of Comic Con 2017. I'm Kyle Anderson, now joined by the cast of Arrow. Hi, guys. Hey. What's up, man? Hello. What's up? First of all, I want to say uh, before we get into any actual questions, congratulations on an amazing season of television. Um, it saw your hundredth episode, and uh, really the, the sort of close to one chapter, the opening of another. Um, is anyone here alive? Do we know? I'm definitely not alive. Yeah, I feel like we're just... <laughs> yeah, let's all look at Wendy. <laughs> Wendy. 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 At the Wendy's moment. Here, uh, Wendy's here to stare at daggers yeah, at me and being like, all right, yeah. come on now. Yeah. All things being equal, I think at the moment we're just basking in the glow of nailing it. <laughs> right? 100%. You stuck that landing, didn't you? Uh, very well done. Thank you. <laughs> what Steven said. Um, <laughs> But Stephen, where like do you do you have a sense of, you know for I mean just for yourself where we're gonna find Oliver in season six following this? We do journey? the same thing that we've done every year, which is that we st we stick with the times. So we pick up five months after the after the season uh, five finale. Uh, we have flashbacks in the first episode to the aftermath of the explosion, and. Um, <laughs> wow, that's about the max. Right For fear of yeah. death. Uh, I, mean, um, I, I mean, I can't. Uh, <laughs> You're winking in Morse code at me. And that's I, right. I, I, I unfortunately don't understand uh, this that. This means a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Emily, I want to ask you, we Ooh. saw a little, bit of, um, uh, a little bit of darkness sneak into Felicity during season five. Are we yes. going to see a little more of that moving forward? Would you like to, to explore that a little bit more? Um, I really liked the Helix storyline that Felicity got to explore last year kind of took her in this like weird train. I got to work with a good friend of mine, Casey Roll, who was amazing. Um, I like that side of Felicity. I don't know if Felicity likes that side of Felicity, I'll be honest. She, uh, she was very almost uncomfortable in this sort of um, downward spiral that she could have, you know, driven on for a very, very long time. Um, but also, it just goes to Wendy again because I'm not actually sure if she goes down and take it out of I want to be able to answer this question. Stonewall you one more time. Wait, let me just ask you directly. Um, you know, because we, uh, you know, this this season, you know, saw the end of, you know, a sort of definitive end of a, a story of a, of, a, of, a, of a segment in Oliver's life. Um, you know, is is there something of a reset? Like, is it going to be a, a, a different show? Moving forward, or do you feel like that you've now freed yourself up to do more now that you've told this one story? I think it's the second one. We, it's the same show. It's still Arrow, um, we, but we have a little bit more real estate to play with. We don't have the same flashbacks that we were doing before. We're going to wrap up all of our stories. You know, at the end of uh, season five, everything kind of came full circle. But we'll be able to tell different stories and from different characters' points of view. It'll be fun. It's going to be a little. We're not really calling it a reboot, but it will. It will be feel different in some ways, and it will still very much be the same Arrow that fans have come to know and love. Phew. Well, instead of trying to extract things about uh, season six, let's talk about season five. Uh, that uh, the hundredth episode that you guys had uh, was maybe my favorite hour of television of the past year. I, it was just so incredible. Thanks, man. That's really nice. It was. It was great, and it's, it came right in the middle of the crossover. Just this this perfect little thing. Um, tell me, like Stephen, when you when you got the script for that episode, and you know there's so much of Oliver's past in it and you know all these all these elements coming together what, what, what was your reaction when you actually read through that for the first time that script was like Christmas morning it really it really was like my I remember my first day shooting it I didn't think that I would feel the significance of the hundred ep hundredth episode my first scene in that episode was you and I um, happening upon Deathstroke like I don't think this is real something's wrong <laughs> and uh, you know James Bamford was directing it and he had been with us since the jump but doing that episode, that was really something. And my scenes with you, yeah. um, you know, saying goodbye to you, uh, we came the closest that we've ever come to calling a day on account of weather. We, the, really? the, big, the big fight scene, it was pouring rain and it was so windy that it was going to tear down the towers, the lighting towers. Um, that whole thing, that whole experience, that whole 100th episode party, and then of course we get to do the 100th episode actual episode and then the party. I mean, it was just... It's really something, man. Like, it's not, it's, obviously this is not, um, like, supernatural territory or anything like that, but 100 episodes of a television show is a grand accomplishment. Uh, Juliana, you weren't on it, so if you could just come up. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just imagining uh, how, uh, how that must feel. <laughs> Hopefully 100 more. Hopefully 100 more. Yeah. Hopefully 100 more. <laughs> <laughs> 
She's like, that does sound nice. That yeah. sounds pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I might, have, might have texted or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, did, did, did all you guys kind of have that a similar experience with that episode just because it was so sort of you know, grounded in the, the history that you guys have with one another? It was surreal for me because, um, you know, coming on the show so early on to, to reach the 100 um, and my character specific I, I didn't know I was gonna be in the hundredth episode. I was I was like, hmm, it might not happen. So and then when I read the script and I saw that Wild Dog gets to converse with um, Supergirl and yeah, Flash, yeah. I was like, Wow, this is this is gonna be fun. And, and for the energies to just mesh and not, you know, connect so well, I was excited. I I, I was. I was like, that's so cool. Yeah. So yeah. Rick, I, I want to know from you, are we going to get um, uh, more of the uh, uh, Renee-Quentin uh, dynamic in the next season? I would oh. love to see more of that relationship. Uh, Renee's dead. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Are you just finding out That's now? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Wendy. Yeah. Just let it out. Good answer. Poor guy. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna promote season five. Oh, yeah, Sorry. yeah. Pick it up on DVD, right? Uh, <laughs> it's coming out soon, guys. VHS, VHS too. Get <laughs> yeah, that VHS. Yeah. 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 I think there's laser discs too. You can listen to it in Walkman. We yeah. just have all the sound. It's a podcast now. You guys are just doing it. It's a podcast. Very expensive podcast. Season five audiobook. One hundred and ninety nine dollars. Just the audio. <laughs> I, would, I, I would probably listen. To that. <laughs> not, not gonna lie to you, uh -huh. uh, Wendy. Has there been a uh, conversation yet about uh, the coming seasons crossover? Um, there have been. Yeah. It's gonna be. I can tell you, basically, it's gonna be very much rooted in the DCU. It's gonna be an epic story that I think fans will be really excited about, particularly comic book fans. And that's all I can tell you. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be. That's awesome. a good tease. I mean, Perfect. she just gave you the whole episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all to the internet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, and, uh, and Juliana, how does it feel to be uh, uh, back in the bosom of Arrow? It feels so amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, wow, what a beautiful yeah. yeah. so, 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 so. Arrow. Ooh. Feels more in the bosom of Arrow. Yeah. The bosom should. I was going to say, I want somebody to get a bosom. Arrow's a very lovely show. Very, very lovely show. Very lovely show. Very lovely show. Sucklers. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. I do what I can. <laughs> weird, weird spoiler. I don't understand. No, just you know, wait. Juliana's bosom is very supple. Yeah. <laughs> good, good to know that's confirmed. That's my <laughs> yeah, that's my answer. That's a good one. <laughs> Great. Exactly the answer I was looking for. Fantastic. Not uh, Arrow will be back uh, October 12th on the CW. Uh, how uh, have you started season six yet? Or how, how yeah, we're halfway. Yeah. We're halfway through the second episode. Okay, yeah. and it feels pretty good. Maybe, Maybe to some. No, of it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whoever, to, to whoever, those of us who are there, who, who knows? Some people I'm might sure feel good really about nice. some stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 And others yeah. might be sad. <laughs> yeah, others, others not so good. <laughs> pretty good, man. No, we're, we're no, we no, we hit the ground running, big time. Excellent. Yeah, really right. good. We look forward to the return of Arrow, October twelfth on the CW. Thanks again to the cast of Arrow. And uh, you cover, uh, so we'll cover, you'll stay here for more great Comic-Con coverage uh, on Entertainment Weekly. <laughs>